When we had last left, the Spacefarer. They were ascending the corporate ladder of Ryujin Industries, which brought them close into contact with Uluru, or Ularu, their high uh, supervisor who reigned on from on high that they had yet to meet until now, and also had a job for them to go find out some secret information from a secret informant. But, of course, the informant also had a favor, and do it they did by way of killing someone who was irritating them and trying to hunt them down as well for some sort of bounty. And now, with the proper information, they sought out to get the proper information. They got information on more information. Yes, they had to find out what was up with Infinity LTD's Project Dominion. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Let's head on out and do it. And also, as I had said, uh, apologies. Shorter videos all around this week because it's Dragon's Dogma 2 launch week. Oh my gosh, I'm very much enjoying it. Let us head on out over here to, whoa, speak with Sam Co. Okay, over here. Wow, it's actually on Sidonia. <laughs> I did not realize that Infinity LTD had... This is them? Oh, right, because it's in... they're in collaboration with Deimos. Okay, right. That makes perfect sense. Does this guy have anything Sometimes new to say now? These mines just run themselves. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Okay. Have a good one. Sure, you don't have anything to say about this. Okay, well, how can I pick into here without being caught? Does he ever, like, patrol away? Oh, I think he did. Or does. Or at least he looks away. Okay, let's see here. Pop in that. And then this. Good. Beautiful. Love it. Demos Staryard's presentation. Oh. Please select the file you wish to open. Project Dominion. Another hack within a hack. Okay. And then right there. Oh, shit. Oh, there we are. Loading presentation. Error. Failed to run. Cannot open file. Requires additional decryption. Oh. Well, we'll just download it. Downloading. Warning. Files are encrypted. Additional decryption software will be required to run. Download complete. Files saved to external device. What if they're reverse hacking us? Right? Because we already had a bit of a run-in with Infinity LTD. What if they know that someone is up to something? They don't know necessarily that's Ryujin. Maybe they have a rough guess, right? But, or maybe maybe Ryujin is big enough to where they could safely guess, like, it's probably Ryujin who's up to some shady shit. Uh, but they have some sort of countermeasure in place here. So when we go to decrypt it, you know, it seems like a run-of-the-mill decryption that we have to do. But in reality, it's going to install malware on our own shit, you know? Hmm. Okay. How about the representatives? Chief Executive Officer, Mason Stedman. Sell concept of the guaranteed deal, reviving the Deimos name. Senior VP Nora Morwitz, must be on board. Stedman's most trusted advisor. Sell on job security and control. Chief, Oper Chief Operations Officer Jamal Gershon. Sell on advantage over competition. Competition. Chief Security Officer London Fjord. Sell on... <laughs> London Fjord. What is this? Fucking Duncan, Idaho. Sell on reducing risk. Stress shielding component in the works only if brought up. Okay. Meetings? Today, 
Talking points for Dama's presentation. When? 3 to 5 p.m. Where? Your desk. It's a teleconference. Guests, Nina Hart and Lucas Drexler. Oh. Status accepted. Inbox. Oh, shit, there's a whole bunch here. Okay, Nina Hart, be prepared. Hey, Stanley. Just checking up to make sure you've properly prepared for this meeting. Lucas expects you to be prepared, so be sure to at least be familiar with the reps that are coming. Don't expect me to cover for you this time. Nina, Marketing Executive Director, Infinity LTD. Cillian Campbell, IT Maintenance. Greetings! Several of our servers will be briefly coming down for maintenance. Some remote users may experience an interruption in connectivity slash service with Infinity LTD servers. The maintenance and reboot should be brief. Maintenance window, 3 a.m. to 3.15 a.m. Please direct any questions or concerns to the IT department via our ticket system. Okay, that's very, uh, <laughs> very bog standard. A Ailis? Ailes? Ort Ortiz? Your trip. Hi, Stanley. Below is the itinerary for your upcoming trip to Sidonia. Please remember to log all receipts for reimbursement upon return. Transportation. Trident Luxury Lines Transport B-Class. New Atlantis to Sidonia. Confirmation. 1X495B. Stanley P. McMillan. Accommodations. Lux Condominiums. Seven days, six nights. Confirmation A590P127, Stanley P. McMillan, Alis, Receptionist Infinity LTD. Okay. Harmon Spaulding, congrats. Congrats on the deal, Stan. Told you things would be looking up. This is your chance to get back on track. Drinks tonight, I'm buying. From Nina again, Quantum Synergies. Good afternoon. As you know, our deal with Quantum Synergies has fallen through. Right, we were behind that. This makes our focus on selling Project Dominion even more important. We have our first meeting with Deimos Staryards just around the corner. Stanley McMillan has been chosen to head this up. This is our number one priority, so any requests coming through from either Stanley or myself in regards to this deal should be considered critical. We expect your full support. Regards, Nina Hart, Marketing Executive Director, Infinity LTD. Okay. Hmm. Sure. Well, I guess that's it then, right? <laughs> that was easy enough. <laughs> okay. I feel like maybe they made it a little too simple here, right? Okay. Because from the sound, the onset, it sounded as if there would be like a really cool, fun way to approach this in multiple ways. But ultimately, it was extremely easy because, <laughs> right? Like, if you just go to the nearest place, the closest area is also the path of least resistance, you know? It's not quite like the, the Dark Brotherhood quest arc and stuff, wherein... Um, or Skyrim's Dark Brotherhood quest arc, wherein you can see sort of uh, all the different strings you can pull and sort of execute, well, execute executions in certain ways or in different ways. Which it sounds like you could have done it here, right? But I don't, I don't know why, why you wouldn't just go the path of the path of least resistance there. I don't know, because it's already doing that is already so similar to what you've already done so far. I don't know. Okay, well, let's head on back to Ryujin. Should we check in with Sam Co and Sarah? They both want to talk to us. Maybe we ought to do that. Okay, let's do it. There we are. And then... Get up. Unless... There would be something cool, right? If that one was a plant, the easiest option, which I just took nearby, which is, like I said, um, it feels very familiar. It's a whole lot like what we have already done. If it's a fake out, if that one is the one that's rigged with malware, and if we had went to one of the further out options, right? If we went to go and actually find the guy, 
right? Which I believe, right? It made it sound like we could have found him, you know? It, it would like, uh, what's his name? Gave us all this information on how to track him down, right? And like gave us his, his daily schedule or so to speak. If we had actually done that, would we find out that this was actually like some sort of malware or whatever, that this was a setup? That would be cool, right? That would be a cool way around it. Okay, let's find Sarah and Sam I can't here. Believe I get to stand oh, near we'll go with Sarah first. Hey, Sarah. If you want help, I'm here. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Oh, of course. A little bit of a debrief. He was a despicable person. Actually, I felt bad for the guy. I haven't given him a second thought. Let's talk about this later. Yeah, he was despicable. Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. I couldn't agree more. Ron Hope had a lot of weight on his shoulders. I'm glad it's over. What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you really going to make me remind you what that man did to those farmers on Montara Luna? How he sent Paxton Hull and the First to murder them and steal their land so he could use it for his own ill-gotten gains. How could you forget something like that? Sarah, I'm sorry. I just I just wanted to hear you say it. I just I just wanted to exhaust the dialogue. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. Taking a bribe to overlook his crimes would have been a horrible thing to do. It's a shame that the well-being and livelihoods of hundreds of Hope Tech employees are now in jeopardy. Honestly, it wasn't Ron Hope's fault that Paxton Hull took things too far. Given what I've done, I'm frankly surprised that you approve. Hmm. I want to hear what she says about this. It is a shame that the well-being and livelihoods of hundreds of Hope Tech employees are now in jeopardy. Well, that's true. It certainly doesn't excuse the blood that he has on his hands. Yeah, absolutely right. Okay. If I've learned anything from this, it's that money isn't everything. <laughs> We're only just now realizing this. <laughs> I still wonder if I made a mistake. I only hope those folks who are going to lose their jobs at Hope Tech will understand. Oh. How cool would it be, though, if they didn't? What, what juicy sort of exposition and whatnot that would be if they didn't understand. I only hope those folks who are going to lose their jobs at Hope Tech will understand. Some of them will, and some of them won't. What happens to them isn't your fault. It's Ron Hope's. Right. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Okay. Let's see, where is Sam? Or did you actually want to talk to me about something different? A lot on your mind? Let's see. Huh. Do you have something for me? Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Okay, some fiber. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Huh. How are you feeling about our relationship? You're the most important thing in my life. I value every waking moment we have together. I hate to say this, but I don't think our relationship is working out. I'm pleased to hear that, Sarah. I'm pleased. Good. Anytime you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. Okay. Sure. Good talk. You be careful, okay? So did we get it all? Yeah, okay. It was just the debrief then. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I do think... I think Sarah's got my favorite outfit of all the... Of all the fucking core companions. Oh, what's going on? Oh shit, man! The creamy man is fucking pumping up! Oh my god! I had no idea the creamy man was in here doing this! I've never seen Using this before. Isaac, you zag, I zag. I am your sidekick, your shadow, your tail. Damn, Creamy Man is kind of jacked, I guess. Shit, I guess it's true enough, right? In Oblivion, he fucking decked that one dude. I'll never What's forget that. On the agenda? That like fucking Saving wizard. The world. 
All right. Saving no, I don't even think it was a wizard. All right. Saving Sam? The universe? Freestar Rangers. You did that dirty work and then some. So how'd you feel wearing the badge? <laughs> <laughs> this couldn't be any better. Felt really good. I enjoyed the work. Being a ranger's not for me. That's a loaded question. Being a ranger's not for me. I know exactly how you feel. Me, I never cared much for being a ranger. Too many of them try to force the world to be only black and white when it's anything but. Take Ron Hope. I mean, the guy's a legend. Before him, Polvo was a desperate, depressing place. Everything he did was to keep his people employed to keep Hope Tech standing in a backstabbing world of megacorp politics. I think Ron Hope's accomplishments are impressive. I think it was all about power and greed with Ron Hope. The whole situation with him is complicated. Sounds like you really admire him. Huh. I wouldn't say that it was power and greed necessarily. Ron Hope thought he, he, he himself was a hero, right? And thus, he had carte blanche to do whatever he saw fit, right? I wouldn't say it was, ne like, indirectly, it was about power and greed, but he wasn't just like a mustache twirling villain, wherein he was like, Haha, yeah, I'm going to do the most evil, sinister thing possible. No, he, he thought he was the good guy, right? If anything, I wish that was explored more. <laughs> I guess we're having a good old-fashioned staring contest. And same goes for what Sam just said about the Free Star Rangers, how too many of them uh, tend to want to look at the world as black and white. I wish that was actually true in the quest arc, right? I wish that got to be explored more in the quest arc because I don't, I don't think that really actually came up, right? Like, the Marshal was fairly reasonable. Uh, what's her name? The the second in command there who we were taking orders from directly. I, I don't even remember her name. Uh, but she was also fairly reasonable, right? Their reactions to my killing of Ron Hope was like, man, yeah, I guess you were right. I guess he really was kind of fucked up, right? It would have been so much cooler if they had completely been suckered in by Ron Hope and the quest went on further and we got, like, evicted or expelled or whatever from the Rangers. Well, kind of. All right, sorry. <laughs> Not to loop back around to sort of how the Freestar Rangers quest arc was almost really good, right? It didn't quite go the, the extra mile that I would have liked, right? Not quite there. All right. The whole situation with him is complicated. I guess I'll say that out of lack of more nuanced options here. It's complicated. Sadly, it is. I hate Tough to say to that it's just complicated, Hope. though. Taking his hush money wouldn't have said right with me. But I wonder what's going to happen to Hope Town without him. People died. Mr. Hope has to face justice for what he did. Hopefully the company pulls through this. I couldn't live with myself if I took that bribe. Time will tell. People died. Mr. Hope had to face justice. I think Paxton Hall went out of control. But no doubt Ron Hope bears some responsibility. As much fun as it is being a ranger, I hope you can start focusing on constellation business. There's plenty of mysteries left in the good old Milky Way to discover. Okay. Good talk. We should really meet up with um, Barrett and Andresia. Do we do think that think they've got takes on this? I completely forgot that sometimes they have takes on uh, main story, or not main story, but major quest arcs. Okay, let's see. Let's just fast travel now. Head on back to Ryujin, back to Volai Alpha. Good, Can't say good. I've ever spent more than a few hours in Neon. Okay. Head on over here. At a certain point, we do need to get the creamy man in our party, right? Following us. I'm so afraid every time I come through here now I'm going to fall through the world. Okay. There we are. Up here. And executive offices. Good. Okay. Then, up this way. Right, up and around. 
I've got my eye on you. Oh, okay. Well, let's do a quick save just in case. Hey, Ilaru Chen. Well, that took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. Give Slate. It's for something called Project Dominion. After what I went through, it better be. I was fast and efficient, and you know it. I was fast and efficient, and you know it. <laughs> You've got a little spark in you. I like it. Now, let's see if what Mr. Rycheck found was worth all the fuss. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see. Got the key, deciphering, and done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. This is a sales initiative for Project Dominion. It's not an Infinity LTD design. It's one of ours. What? <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. So we have a mole. Right? We've got a leaker. Oh my gosh, we need to go Nintendo on their ass. <laughs> it, it is ironic that we were trying to go and steal their shit and reverse engineer it. And we go we go to do it. And oh whoops, actually it's ours. They actually did it to us first. <laughs> and of course we can't stand for that. We can't stand for that whatsoever. Oh shit, I didn't know this was here. Hey, um, Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> We need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. We can't allow the mole to get their hands on any more information. Sounds like a mess. Why me and not someone more senior? What exactly is Project Dominion? Oh, I wonder if, um, what's his name? Tomo will come into play here. Right? Hmm. We can't allow the mole to get their hands on any more information. Sounds like a mess. Let's just exhaust these. Why me and not someone more senior? Because you exposed this information. I have little reason to suspect you. That won't mean you'll be exempt from investigation, of course. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. Damn, that would have been cool if we did actually- if we could actually have done that. Huh. Okay. Ularu? So much for any faith in our security team. Dalton. Oh, oh shit. Miss Amada. How can I help? This is our- is this our first That's time seeing someone Dalton. use this? I'm sending an operative your way, along with some files, to your computer. I'll be ready. Not for this one, but I trust you'll get it done. Is that the first time we've ever seen this thing get used? No, didn't we see it on that little like mining planet? We haven't. I forgot the name of it. Like this in years. It didn't make the sound and effect though. On my watch. Okay. Also, in seeing your suit, I finally get what they're going for. It's like the older like. East Asian, I think, inspired sort of like robe. You know, sure you know what I'm talking about? It's like that sort that of formal situation robe situation, situation, which I guess makes sense given Ryujin Industries' influences, right? I think it works way better 
in this one than like a lot of the other outfits that we had been seeing right especially not the one that we had been given right that one was pretty rough but here we can finally see it like working in full this. function for the design of what they were shooting for and it absolutely like makes sense here okay can I we trust chat you and dalton will take care of this man i can ask you a bunch all right sure fuck it let's do it what's the significance of an internal neuroamp Neuroamps make some people nervous because they can enhance your ability to influence others. But with the external appearance, people can always be aware of those who have them and may be using them. An internal neuroamp would be unnoticeable. Should it be used to influence someone, that person would be none the wiser. Interesting. So were they like... Were they regulated to have it be partly external? Is that the thinking? Like some governing body regulated them to do it? That doesn't sound right, right? You know, you know, it it sounds like there's actually very little in the way of regulation. Was it just like the limits of the technology? Which sounds wild that like for some reason they just couldn't cover it up. You know, it's already partly implanted in you, right? There's already that little section. I mean, just with Pay with a attention. daring enough haircut, you could cover it up, <laughs> you know? Just wearing, like, an interesting enough hat would work. Okay, so you run Ryujin Industries. I've been the CEO of Ryujin Industries for over 10 years now. I've also been lucky enough to continue and grow its success since I took the position. Do you have any thoughts on who the mole might be? Is there anything I need to know about Dalton Fennis? How did Neuroramps uh, let you influence others? How did you become CEO? Yeah, let's just keep going through these. Any thoughts on who the mole might be? <sighs> Ryujin has many enemies outside of the corporation. To be an enemy within and avoid detection takes a certain amount of skill that only so many of our employees possess. I do have suspicions, but feel it's too early to say at this time. Right. I mean, it's definitely got to be someone we've met before, right? It would be kind of shitty if it was someone we didn't yet know. Hmm. Okay. I'm waiting. Listen, I love to do a little wild-ass theory here and there, right? If, if you're no stranger to these playthroughs I do... You should know by now, I love coming up with a wild-ass theory. What if it's her? Hmm? Yeah, think about that. What if it's the CEO leaking it, right? To try and somehow give, like, plausible cause or, like, a Cassis Belli effectively to, like, wage war or whatever against... Infinity LTD? Huh. Well, or maybe not. I don't know. To create maybe some false form of well. competition? Huh. I'm not sure. But what if... There is a world in which it is this person, right? It is the CEO who is actually leaking it for some, like, unscrupulous reason. You know? Huh. Okay. I mean, who else could it be? It could be any of those people that we met at that board meeting. It could be Imogene. It could, I guess it could be the person at the lobby, remember? But I don't think so. I really doubt it's Tomo. I think Tomo will be involved, but I don't think it's Tomo. It could be, um, what, what's her name? Uh, that we just were talking with, uh, Ularu, right? Could totally be. Pay attention. Okay. Is, is there anything I need to know about Dalton? Dalton is our chief security officer. He oversees everything. Employees, network, information, even the tower itself. Since I promoted him, we've decreased our security breaches by 96%. Only a handful of competitor operatives have set foot in the building, and our physical security was able to quickly subdue them. How do neuroamps let you influence others? Our latest line of neuroamps were created to help with the user's self-image. 
They can boost confidence oh. and the ability to communicate and think critically. Those types of improvements in competency can easily help influence others. Right, yeah. Unearned confidence does wonders, right? <laughs> uh, how did you become CEO? Right, like for real. How, how many times do you run into someone, or perhaps you even are someone in this way, who's extremely competent in like a specific field? right but just for whatever reason you have some sort of i don't know social anxiety or um you're so competent in the field that you do question yourself thus it opens you up to someone who perhaps is um less competent in the field but is more sure well. of himself right you know there there's a remarkable amount that can be accomplished just by like showing up and acting like you know what you're doing you know even maybe you even believe it yourself right maybe you believe you know what you're doing right but you truly do not <laughs> all right how did you become ceo i was elected ceo when my predecessor itaru saito was proving to be incompetent oh. he was jeopardizing our relationships with both the free star collective and benjamin bayou which would have made doing business extremely difficult for Ryujin. That is amazing. Huh. What was Itaru Saito doing? We caught hostile operatives with Ryujin Tech a while back and linked them to the Free Star Collective's Council of Governors. Saito was enraged. He wanted more than the usual compensation from the Free Star Collective. Right. He wanted the truth. When the truth was refused, he went after Bayou, accusing him of knowingly condoning the Council's actions. The compensation should have been enough. To this day, I can only speculate on why the truth was so important. Is he still around? Can we meet Itaro Saito? I love the idea that it sounds like he was actually, you know, like a reasonable person who was like fairly egalitarian. I like the read that maybe Itaru Saito was like an egalitarian, egalitarian CEO and that wasn't good enough, right? They needed someone fucking ruthless, you know? I love the idea that... Itaru, despite being egalitarian, somehow fostered, um, and maybe maybe not even by way of their own, but by virtue of being in the Free Star Collective, it just fostered this sort of like ruthless cutthroat culture within the company, and it was ultimately their own undoing. You know. Okay, what was the Council of Governors, or what is the Council of Governors? The Council of Governors is a group of political and corporate elite that oversee the Free Star Collective. They institute the laws and have the Free Star Rangers to enforce them. And, of course, Administrator Bayou is one of them. Why maintain the ties with the Free Star Collective and Bayou? Just look at our position. We're based in Neon, a city controlled largely by Benjamin Bayou. And Neon is inside the Free Star Collective, controlled by the Council of Governors. I think the answer is obvious. Right. And Itaru was willing to risk the entire corporation to, like, out them. Fascinating. Ryujin probably should be independent of both, though. But maybe, maybe her thinking is they want to get big enough to where they can more comfortably do it rather than taking a risk. I want to hear what she says with her, if I say this to her. Ryujin should be independent of both. In an ideal world, yes. It's a goal I look toward. Okay, but a move yeah. like that isn't something that happens overnight. Unraveling the complex relationship would be years of work. So until it's no longer beneficial, I'm content to take it slow. Oh, man. I would love to see a future in which, like in a sequel or whatever, if, I, if one ever gets made, Ryujin well. and the Freestar Collective have their, like, 
relative spheres of influence swapped, right? Or not not even Ryujin, but not, like Neon itself, right? To where in Freestar Collective space, the Freestar Collective itself is hardly known of, right? They're the minority demographic within the overarching faction, right? People have stopped calling it the Freestar Collective and more so refer to it the... I don't know, the Nation of Neon or something. I don't know. We'll work out the name, right? But uh, more so um, the sort of libertarian ideals of the Freestar Collective and their very laissez-faire way of doing business without regulation does ultimately give rise to, like, an ultra-corrupt, fucked-up, like, cyberpunk dystopia, right? Rather than it just being confined to one planet, the entire faction gets subsumed by it, you know? And then people in the Freestar Collective sort of live under that. I think that would be really damn good. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? Excuse me. Some of us have actual work to do. Okay, fair enough. Should we poke around here a little bit more? I'm kind of down to. Oh, do you have anything Don't else to say? Any trouble. Dalton's no. going to be on the job hunt if he can't figure this one out. Maybe it's you. That's it. I don't think you've got security clearance to know. Hmm. It could be one of the operatives that we've also encountered. You know? Maybe the guy who asked us for the favor? That was a little odd. Right? There wasn't any other case where another person got a favor from us. I've been waiting here for ages. That would be interesting if we cleaned up his sloppy <clears throat> mess and that was like a way in which it would have given him away and we helped him. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. Okay. You have a very unique look. That sounded like an insult. I'm flattered. Yours is very unique as well. Who made you a fashion expert? Who made you a fashion expert? Someone with a great eye, luxurious taste, and years of people watching at the Astro Lounge. That someone is me, of course. Okay. Yeah, well, yours is very unique as well. Thank you. I believe appearance to be a point of pride. In the effort of making small talk, I hope you're enjoying your newly gained position. Our operatives are quite the expense, but a necessary one. You're proving to be quite the outlier. I always aim for perfection. It's easy work. I'll take that as a compliment. It's easy. In that case, perhaps we need to reevaluate our field operatives. I believe I've met my social quota for the day, so I'll be continuing on with my work now. Perhaps we'll chat another time. Okay. Huh. Sure. How about over here? This deal could be huge for my company. Yep. Hey, Genie. Hmm. Nice or, to see you're still with us. No, you're you're Viv Vivs or whatever it was, right? <laughs> you're in charge of both marketing and public relations. Oh yeah. When Masako promoted me to head up marketing, I told her I wanted complete control of all public facing aspects. Being the brilliant mind that she is, she didn't even hesitate. Every facet of Ryujin's narrative is carefully crafted by me and my team. With plenty of help from operations, of course. Of course. Uh, what kind of work do us operatives create for your team? Cover stories, mostly. If an operative is caught or Ryujin involvement is suspected, we go into damage control. It's a lot of conversations and negotiations, working with witnesses, law enforcement, the press, not to mention preparing our own statements so we can quell any oncoming storms, or at least get ahead of them. How easy is it to market NeuroAmps? The NeuroAmp campaign is always a delicate subject. I have a love-hate relationship with it due to how polarizing the technology can be for some. It's easy to get our target audience to buy in, but it's the naysayers that we really want to appeal to, and that's our biggest challenge. Hmm. Okay. Do you need me somewhere? I'm surprised we haven't seen more naysayers, right? We haven't seen anyone who's like very anti-neuroamp, who's like, I'm not putting that shit in my fucking head, right? 
I don't think we've seen anyone like that. We've only seen people who are either for it or neutral, you know? Maybe we will encounter some of that as we go through here, right? Okay, whoa. Now this is a real boardroom. Holy shit. Are these also Ryujin trophies? Yeah, best design of the year, business award from Ryujin. Awarded to Ryujin. <laughs> best product. Best technology. Where are they the shape of, though? Is it like a flower or something? Huh. Alright. Well, uh, as I had said, we'll end this video a little bit on the earlier side, as we've been doing all week long. Um, when we come back next week, we'll probably be back to a little bit longer. About 10 minutes or so longer, as per usual. Sorry, I meant to end this around the 30 minute mark, but I got a little carried away anyway. What can you do? Alright. Uh, until next time, please take care of each other.